Hi, boys and girls. Today we are going to do L, the name of God that starts with L. And it has to do with light. And I am going to talk to you first about fog. That may seem like an odd thing for me to talk to you about, but I think you'll get the connection after I read you this little devotional. Look at the picture here. Do you see the lighthouse? This is called Foggy Days. Fog creeps in low and damp and cool, adding a filmy layer of mystery to everything it covers. You may have seen it blocking your view outside, especially if you're awake early in the morning. So what is fog? Fog is actually a cloud flying low to the ground, a stratus cloud to be exact, made up of a collection of tiny water droplets or ice crystals. These droplets are so tiny and so lightweight that they float on air. Fog usually lives only a short time as soon as the sun rises, the heat from its rays burns away the fog and makes everything clear again. This is also exactly what happens with the sun, S-O-N, Jesus. You see, sometimes the world will tell you lies and it's not just the world, it's Satan because Satan's behind the lies. He's the father of lies might hear something like you're no good at anything nobody's ever going to care about you you can't do anything right you know what's wrong with you those are all lies of satan that can fog up your thinking and you are in this foggy days thinking and believing these lies that satan is telling you but the light, Jesus, can burn off those lies, just like we talked about the S-U-N burns off the fog. The S-O-N can take away those lies. And the way that you can help yourself to do that is to spend time with Jesus. He is the Son, S-O-N. Read his word. Listen to his truth. Fill your head with the promises of God. The, the things that God says about you. You are worthwhile. You are chosen. You are special. I made you. I love you. I came and gave myself for you. All of those promises of God can defeat the lies of the enemy okay and that is how jesus is the light of the world the light of the world look here at these um little stickers that i have here you see all the lighthouses on those stickers they say the lord is my light god's word is a light to my path God's word gives light, light up a lost world. Jesus is the light of the world. And then the last one says, let your light shine. That is from Matthew chapter five, verse 16. Let your light shine before others so that they will see your good works and give glory to God in heaven. So we, as Christians, are lights reflecting God's light, okay? We are his reflectors of the light, the light of Jesus. Jesus is the light of the world. So let's think about, <clears throat> excuse me, let's think about light, all right? Look at this candle. Okay, you can see that light very clearly in the darkness. 
sometimes you might think, man, the world is so dark and evil and bad, and especially this past year with all the things going on and, and um, COVID, and like Mr. Mark said, the things that have been taken away. But when you shine a light in a dark room, you can see everything. Like I was sitting here in this room and I can see the books that are in here, the pictures that are in here, the words on things. So the light shines in the darkness. Now, when you turn on the light that compares to this light, you can't hardly see it, can you? So the light of Jesus shines brightest in the dark. And we want to be that light. Jesus is the light of the world and we want to be lights also okay let's talk about some scriptures that talk about the light okay let's look at psalm chap uh chapter 119 the longest chapter in the bible um the in my Bible, it takes up seven pages, a little over seven pages for one chapter. And there are two verses in that chapter that I want to read to you. Verse 105 and verse 130. This is in Psalm 119. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. A good example of this, Xander gave me an analogy. If, if a car is driving down the road and its analogy is being filled with lies, okay? Like the car is like your mind and you drive into fog, you can't see very far in front of you at all. But if your car lights come on, you can see better with your car lights on. So take those lies that the devil tries to tell you and replace them with the true light of Jesus. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light from my path. And then also in the same chapter, verse 130, it says, the teaching of your word gives light, so even the simple can understand. So you can understand this word, even as a child. Not everything, I don't understand everything because God's ways are so much higher than our ways, but the word of God will give us light. It will help us. It will tell us the truth in every situation. Okay, another verse that I want to read you is from John chapter 8, the Gospel of John. And Jesus is talking to um, people that are, have come around to listen to him. And he says, I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't walk in darkness because you will have the light that leads to life. He is the light of the world. And then I already told you the verse in Matthew that we are to let our light shine. And it's not us, it's God's light in us because we're reflecting the light of Jesus in our lives. Okay, now let's sing a song that you learned way back when you were young about that light, okay? This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This a light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine all the time, let it shine. All around the neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine. All around the neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine all the time, let it shine. Won't let Satan it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Won't let Satan it out. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine all the time, let it shine. 
Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine all the time. Let it shine. Be the light because Jesus is the light. He is the light of the world. Have a great week.